Ma'am, I have a doubt. Have you ever seen an Adam with naked eyes? No, not yet. Do you want to know how we can see an Adam without actually seeing it? Chalo, batate hain. Atoms are really, really small. It is impossible to see one with naked eyes and even with the most powerful microscope. Atoms ko dekhna mungkin nahi. Mungkin nahi, na mungkin nahi. Because अगर आपको माइक्रोस्कोप से कुछ देखना है then the wavelength of light shining through the microscope cannot be larger than the size of whatever you are looking at. But unfortunately, visible light का wavelength thousand times bigger होता है atom से. So scientists have to wait for a shorter wavelength like X-rays. X-ray wavelengths are about the same size as atoms. But reflecting rays from matter forms a complex pattern of the arrangement of the atoms, but do not show the individual atoms. So now, as we all know, we cannot see an atom with a light microscope. However, in 1981, a microscope was developed known as scanning tunneling microscope, short form STM. It is based on tunneling, which is a quantum mechanical effect. It works by applying a metal wire tip over the surface and by applying voltage either on the tip or the surface of the metal we can image the surface of atom to a very small scale that is dissolving individual atoms right and one important thing the size of the current depends upon the separation of the needle and the surface of the atom and the current in Increases with increase in the separation between the two. Now let us try to understand the working mechanism of STM, that is scanning tunneling microscope. Current is supplied to the tip or probe while the scanner moves rapidly across the surface of the conducting sample. When the tip encounters an atom, there will be change in the flow of electrons between the atom and the tip. The computer registers this change in current. With the x y position of an atom, the scanner continues to position the tip over each x y point on the sample surface, registering a current for each point. Then the computer will collect all the data and plot a map of current over the surface that corresponds to the map of the atomic positions. Yeah, well explained, so we ma'am. So, bacha, it is much similar to like a old phonograph. Where the needle is acting as a tip and the grooves in the vinyl record are acting as an atom. So it's the same way STM tips moves over the atomic surface and using tunneling as a sensitive detector, which tells you the atomic position. As you can see in the image, we can relate it to phonograph very well. Wow, isn't that amazing? I mean, because of the advancement in science and technology, today we are able to see the atom, which is the smallest particle. Imagine how happy Dalton would have been if he could be living in the Sahara. Hmm. But are we sure atom is the smallest particle? If not, then what else? Do let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure to subscribe.